Hello everyone, welcome back to Altria's playing Minecraft Stone Block 2. Let me show you what I've done. It's amazing. Look at this hole. How good this hole is getting. I've connected up this to this. Yes. Owie. This is all ready to go somewhere else. I'm going <clears> to <throat> probably just keep expanding and joining things together. It's going to be amazing. I started off thinking, you know, I'll just make a really big hole. And I thought, no. It's not how you make things interesting. So I, I put a few things down. I moved everything around. I lost a small amount of lava, but then I realized, who flipping cares? We have infinite water and infinite lava, courtesy of this cobblestone generator and this, um, this heating element that's underneath there creating that lava for us. I made all of this fluid duct to start this magmatic generator going. I'm pretty sure that was there before... Uh, I was using this before I started moving everything around, right? So we've got uh, all, all this cabling here, which is all ready to be moved around. It's not like I'm keeping this here. I moved this diamond anvil which i wasn't really using it was just taking up space up there and this is still temporary uh way up because i basically haven't finished um but it, I, I got this sort of nice sort of up and down axis z axis thing working here this is where we put these i haven't really started drawing from our grid power yet but we're going to want to at some point because i mean that's extra utilities i do believe and um if we have a look at extra Utilities. There are many things that can draw from the grid power, including, I believe. Uh, are you the one that has the teleporty lump? Perhaps. There is this, for example, transmits from batteries to nearby blocks. So this can, um, I believe, this one will just work wherever you are. Stone burnt and resonating redstone crystal. I think these are the things that you need. To, to draw power from the grid in general. But of course, uh, there, is a, there is a battery, but I forget what the name of the block is that stores the energy for us, for, from, from extra utilities. But, what was that? Something went past and I was interested. How did you do Seems wrong. What's happening? Everything's reordering itself. There's a wireless RF transmitter there. What's this tiny chest? It's amazing. Uh, biomarkers. There's lots of things that we can draw. This probably helps. Stores RF for wireless transmission. Requires RF transmitters to send energy. So we need one of those and then these will work. I think that's how that works. These of course also need resonating redstone crystals. So that's again gated on ender pearls as is everything else in this mod pack. So we're going to get there eventually. I'm just showing you the things that I've done because we're going to go back off camera before too long. And um, ender porcupine. Oh those are cool. Uh dig out some more stuff and get some more stuff on the go but i'm just going to see if i can figure out what the name of the battery component is so we can make one i've forgotten oh we'll come back to that i'll find out off camera learn what it's called you'll probably all know already because you've seen everyone do it uh is it this note and then we'll come back to that uh so we're going to make use of this at some point we do want a way to be able to teleport back to our base you've probably seen other people play and there is a uh, charged, I think it's a porter. The charged porter here from RF Tools works with, where are you? Is it the teleporter? I think the quantum entangler porter, what is this? The quantum entangler porter is the one where you can just teleport between the things, that's pretty cool. Uh, that noise in the background scared me until I realized that I uh, made the, the, um, the wood thing over here. So we've got that going. There is a block that we can use. And here it is, the matter transmitter of the matter receiver. With a matter receiver, which obviously requires ender pearls like everything else, we can have the charged uh, teleporter thingy in our inventory and just use it to return to wherever the receiver was that we bound it to. We're going to want to do that. Once again, ender pearls. So this is why we've got all this. I've filled this with wood, mostly. Uh, I put a lot of wood in it anyway. And it is placing blocks for us, drawing out this tree fluid, which is latex. And then we've got all that going into here, which is the latex processing unit. This is full of tiny dry rubber. With tiny dry rubber, we can then put it into any sort of furnace. Uh, well, sort of. You have to turn it into a uh, tiny dry plastic first, I think. I think you have to do this. Nope, maybe it's a nine. 
We have to do nine. Don't press the wrong button. Right, if you shift K, there we go. So we've got dry rubber and then dry rubber in a furnace turns into plastic. Plastic is what we need. So I do have a supply of plastic, I believe in here. There it is. There's all this tiny dry rubber as well, which fell out when I moved everything around. Um, I don't need this generator, but it has stuff in it. So why the heck not? Got a little bit of RF in it, but I'm not going to put anything into it. So just uh, pop it here for now. It will drain itself. There we go. It's empty and it will stack with another one that's also empty. Put it in here for now. Uh, yeah, cool. I made a load of obsidian. Again, this all fell out of these things whilst I was making them. So, And uh, this is an interesting thing, which I've never seen before. It's just... Uh, We've seen the draw before, don't, don't worry about that. Um, this is a fragile lava shard, and that came from when I broke a tank full of lava. All these are spilled out. I'll do it again, why not? Look at that, I get to keep the tank, that's the thing. Right? So if I keep right clicking on here, all these things are just gonna keep going back in. Hello? Come in, no? 32 times one stat limit. Why is there a stat limit on here? This is no good. <laughs> I don't want a stack limit on here. If I click this. We did an upgrade. Draw upgrade. We need two times base value, four times base value. There's a stack downgrade, you see, which forces you to have just one stack in it. But maybe that's, ooh, interesting. Because normally you would put a storage downgrade Oh, maybe it's because it's called down. There's a storage downgrade which reduces it to a single stack. But this, there is a single stack because the single stack is one item. So this is 32 items. This is 32 stacks of this item. That's no good. We can't be doing that. Uh, what else can we do? Let's use... The drawer is no good. That's a bad idea. So what we want is one of those uh, crate. Let's make a crate. I don't expect to actually be doing stuff <laughs> right now. Maybe this can be this. Uh, we might be able to make it with just what we've got here. Crate. A uh, small storage crate, which is chests and a wood casing, which is a piece of wood, jungle plank. Okay, so uh, we've got... <laughs> I was going to show you some other stuff, but we haven't got there yet. Get some actual wood. I'm pretty sure I've got all the pieces for this somewhere else, but let's just, let's just get through this. Nope. Backspace to do this. Do that. We'll do, we need four chests, which is conveniently what happens when you do that. And then, oh, nope, that, there we go. The storage crate is slightly better in this situation than the drawer, because we want everything in here to be here, right? I'll just get everything out, of course. Everything going there. Do or not, go in there. Now we've got a spare drawer. That's fine too. And also I can put this back. Go. And we can do that as many times as we want, of course, until we fill in all that. I don't even know what those are for. I just wanted to show you, but I forgot that that would happen. So that was fun. Let's do that less often if we can avoid it. Uh, now we can, now we've got plastic, we can start making our mob grinder and thingy. So we're gonna run all this all the way over there into the space, which is gonna be producing mobs for us, but we still need cursed earth. Cursed Earth is going to help us by forcing mobs to spawn. Um, remember, I don't actually have any way of <laughs> beating these things up. So let's not do anything drastic there just now. In fact, we should light it. Put a torch here. There we go. I should stop them from spawning in the meantime. Uh, off camera, I'm going to do some work, which hopefully means that they will despawn. Uh, and yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I've moved all this stuff around. I dug a big hole, but one thing I want to be able to do, which I might not be able to do without an ender pill, let's find out, to create a dev null. Or a dank. Do we have a dank null? We do have dank null. Uh, it requires redstone down the panel, which requires coal, redstone, and a red stained glass pane, which it has to be red stained glass. How do we make red? Well, <laughs> we go and see if we have any red. There is a storage upgrade, actually. <coughs> available to us. We could have done that, but uh, it's not important. Let's get these out of here, actually, because they, they shouldn't be in there anymore. Two more generators in there. We could probably clean up this inventory. I'm not going to do that on camera for sure, but everything's all over the place right now. The dank null 
is a very handy device that is going to allow us to keep mining away at stone. And what it does is it collects the stone drops inside itself up to a limit. Once it reaches that limit, it starts voiding the rest. So you only ever have maybe a couple of stacks of cobblestone, a couple of stacks of dirt. But then you can use the dank null as the item to place it back down in the world and it will use up the, the things that you've got. Because currently we have two drawers full, or nearly full at least, of cobblestone. I don't need that much. So if I can keep hold of a certain amount of it, uh, I just get rid of the rest. That's going to be exactly what I want. We don't have any grass left, I think. The grass is what we would want to use to make red dye. Let's see if there's another way of making red dye. Excuse me. Red. Red. Just red. Rose red. It's going to be rose red. Rose. You know what? Let's have a look at red stained glass and then we can see. Uh, no. Red glass. So this is Minecraft red stained glass, which is red pigment, floral red powder. Floral red powder might be a good way of doing it. Red pigment comes from red wool. Not going to be able to do that. Floral red powder comes from those. We can do that yet. We're going to have to get into that at some point. I think we're just going to have to deal with rose red and have done with it. Yeah, there's options. Oh, beetroot turns into rose red. We have a lot of that. Surely it turns into beetroot, but there you go. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nice. So we can have our cake. Eat it too. You go in there. It's probably not the right place for it, but I don't care at this point. Uh, got any glass? No, wrong chest. Yes. We can make red stained glass. Eight of those, perfect. And then we can make a dank null out of four of these, which is a blocks of coal. Which is a lot of coal, actually. Oh, I thought that was obsidian. That's a shame. We can. Oh, we need sixteen of those as well. <laughs> we need more glass. Uh, have we got any sand? No. We've got some of this. Go. Uh, we will compress some dirt and turn it into sand real quick. We only need one, really. Have I got a compressed hammer left? Did I break my hammer? I probably did, actually. Okay. Well, it's good thing we got a ridiculous amount of cobblestone. Excuse me, not this. <laughs> no, no, no. You need an empty hand to do most things with the... Uh... There we go. To do most things with those drawers, which is kind of pesky, because... Hammer. Let's have a look at compressed hammer, which is... Lots of hammers. Take this down to nine. Pressed one. At least that's nice and easy. Put these down. Oh, we only need one for now. Let's do that. Put the sand in the furnace for cooking purposes. Uh, that's not sand. That's sand. There we go. Let's uh, speed this up a little bit. Two. We've got six. We've got uh, eight red glass. We need. Just a couple of those. One more beetroot, please. That's a carrot. <laughs> nice try. Uh, you can go in there. Didn't it? Nope. I wonder if that would do anything. Didn't. And then we can have some more rose red. So we're going to need a lot more coal. I think. Maybe. We'll have a look. I haven't looked to see if that is uh, correct. But we need... Red glass. So this can go here. This can go here. This is very difficult to use this mouse. But I'm blaming anyway. Uh, coal. 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 I'll be up here. 34 coal. We need... How much? Is this one per? Yes, that makes one. So it's... Four times five is 20 blocks of coal. <laughs> That's a lot of coal. Uh, we might have to come back. Because this comes from... Gravel, and I haven't been doing gravel. Uh, just gravel? Yes. So, with an iron mesh, we get an 18% chance. I've got diamond. I've got string. Wait, what? Oh, X compress them and... Okay, they have their own things. So our best chance is an iron mesh if we can't afford a diamond mesh, which... Honestly, maybe we can. This gives us a 22% chance. Diamonds if we got... Two. Okay, I'm not going to waste those on that. Uh, that's not enough coal. We need 20 blocks of coal, which is 9 times 20, which is 180. 
Yep, 180 pieces of coal. We've got 34. So we've got some work ahead of us before we can um, afford to... That's really unfortunate, actually, because I thought that was obsidian. So I was getting all ready to do that. I was getting excited, but nope, not an option. Uh, we'll a block of coal. Yes. We can smelt crushed coal. Do we have any of that? Crushed plus quartz. Ah. Oh, that's a shame. Anything else? Good. I don't think there's going to be a way of us getting coal besides just sieving for it. Which is a shame. I mean, the dank null is not that important, but all the digging that I'm doing, I don't want to keep filling these up. I can just chuck them in the trash, sure, but oh, it's just a cool device. Anyway, uh, my job now is going to be to dig out some more of this space. We're going to need a few more uh, flux ducts. Leadstone. Let's stone flux ducts. We're going to a few more of those in order to get power over to there. But we want to make a, a laughter box. It's going to be a bunch of iron, some plastic. Do we have any steel casings? I do need to start putting things in a, a slightly more sensible place. There'll be a technology box, I guess. No, but don't forget we have a lot of machine blocks from extra utilities too, so don't make any more of those for goodness sake. Right, so uh, we'll start with the steel casing. We need... Steel, osmium, and we've got plenty of glass already. Although I will keep my red stained glass separate. We've got a bit more glass over here. Seven. Is that enough? Maybe. Osmium is... Any of this? No? One. That's what we want. And then... What else did we need? Steel, I guess. Steel. <sighs> One thing we were looking at making, now I come to think of it, is the... Um, induction furnace because if we have a look at steel one of the ways of making it is the induction smelter from thermal expansion which itself is made by not too many diff difficult things we've, we've got the sand we've got the machine frame which is just iron and tin so it's more glass which is fine because we can make sand in fact i've still got these nope don't move that bit that's the one i need we can move turn all this into sand and start cooking it right now and then we can uh, not all of it, because I <laughs> remember you need a little bit of sand for what you're doing. So uh, maybe a couple of, most of a stack, that'll do. Get the glass going. This, okay, uh, in, because we can put the induction furnace somewhere sensible. Or insensible, I, I guess that's the point, it doesn't really matter where. Um, so we want, not the osmium, we want iron. Tin, yes, iron. Uh, should have blocks of iron. A lot of stone slabs, so I was thinking of turning these into easier to climb steps as well. Um, so we want this, which is this, which is this, which is... We don't have the other type. There's a gear cast. That's cool. Four ingots of tin makes gear. You don't need to make the stone one in the middle, which is not expensive, but it might be considered effort. You don't mind me saying so. so we'll make a stone gear. Turn it into a tin gear. Which we will then add around a... Oh, that's all available to us. That's just normal glass, that's what we want. Uh, we now need a invar gear, which is another stone gear. Some invar, nickel, tin, nickel, invar. We've got two invar. How much invar have I been making? Not enough. Invar is made from... Yes, yeah, sort my inventory and then give me the recipe of what you're pointing at, not what I wanted. Casting. Invar, which is made of... Hello? Wait, isn't Invar a... I thought it was a blend. Alloying, yes. Two iron to one nickel. That's what I want. Uh, nickel, 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 nickel. Make four of them. We're going to need a bit, aren't we? So, two nickel is four iron. Don't have four iron. Four, one, two, three, four. Speed it up a little bit because we can. This, it doesn't really like this very much, by the way. It seems to go a little bit wonky, but at least it will get this done that much quicker. Ingots. Six ingots of molten invar, which is not quite enough <laughs> to fill a block, which is also kind of pesky. I wonder if you can. Yeah, but you can. That's just acceptably fast enough. I like it. Come on. I think that's everything. Yep. 
All right, let's go. Where were we? <laughs> We're gonna need some copper as well. Copper, copper, copper. That's iron nuggets. Close enough. Right, so we were on this. So we want this, which is this. I, I just bad at mouse. We're gonna need some more of those, but uh, I'll do them as they come. Come along. In necessity, uh, two of these. One, two. Two of these. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Always converting from blocks. I should just keep one or the other, really. But I, I am not. I was going to show you a little bit and then go downstairs and play, but it's been 20 minutes already. Ah, we. Uh, and a redstone coil, which is gold and redstone. Redstone on gold. We've got plenty of metal. Plenty of redstone. I'm happy with that. I'm actually kind of surprised that coal is the thing we're suffering from. An induction smelter. Perfect. Now we can start making steel without messing around too much. I'm going to whack it here. And the reason I'm going to whack it here is that I can. <laughs> you can't. You can't stop me. Um, I I am in control. Also, everything's going to get moved around at some point. That's the big deal here. That's the whole point. What I'm trying to make is everything's not going to stay where it is. Like all of this, <laughs> I'm just whacking in here because it's convenient. Um, we're going to have a much better storage system at some point. But we could put this on here like this, and then just get all of this out of here. And then double click that and then get all this out of here and then double click that and then get all this out of here and then double click that we're not going to need this much cobblestone but it's here right it's uh, i've got it so for now we might as well just store it in the same place until we can do something else with it we have an induction smelter which means we're going to make steel steel in an induction smelter is steak 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 steel uh let's do this the other way let's make let's get our laughter back we are going to make steel which is going to be in an induction smelter which is going to be sand and Coal coke and iron, pulverized charcoal and iron, sand and anything steel, coal coke and pulverized iron. I'm guessing coal and iron will work even though I can't be bothered finding it in there. So there's tin. Stop being hard to do. Uh, there's some iron. There's some coal which we were going to use for a dank null but we can't afford it. Uh, so let's try. Give me this. Uh, Eight of those. What? That doesn't work. So it's not coal. It's not coke. It has to be. I mean, can we use sand and sand and steel blend? Steel blend is steel in a pulverizer. Pressure. None of this is any good to me. Honestly, the way of making... Uh, I don't understand why all these are so difficult and yet you can just use that hammer. You see what I mean? It's, all of these are like steel things that maybe you could afford from pulverized coal. We could make a pulverizer. That would work. I do want a pulverizer. Because that's going to help us uh, later on um, with... This is Ed, so just... Stop. Um, that's going to help us later on with many things. Specifically, did I make enough invar? Yes. Uh, or doubling that doesn't involve the smeltery, which means we can that much more easily automate it. So we needed a bit of gold. We needed nickel, maybe. Let's get it. Copper for sure. And then the redstones. And then, so pulverizer is one of these, which is one of these. These, which I'm in stone because we put it all away. Shift, sneak, left click to get a stack. That's how you do that. I always forget. Oh, we need some flint. Should have plenty of that somewhere. Plenty as in four, yes. We can make it. I think we can make it dead easy. So let's, you know, this is stone and this is cobblestone. So that doesn't work. <laughs> Where did all my stone go? I must have used it. Like, literally on all the stuff I was just doing. And get as much of this as I can real quick. I'll get fourth and now. We can come back. Uh, just make this here. Machine frame. Tin gear. Stone gear. Stone. Machine frame. Nope. Machine frame. Tin gear. Tin. Pulverizer. Machine frame. Done. Pulverizer. Copper gear. Stone gear. Not enough. Now we've got enough. Yes. Hooray. Uh... What? Right. 
Where's... I thought I did that. Don't mind. Uh, copper gear. Stone gear. Two of those, please. That was really confusing. It must have uh, either lagged out or I just didn't do it. <laughs> I'm perfectly prepared to believe I just didn't do it. Um, that's cobblestone, of all things. One, two, three, four. And then redstone. We got redstone. Yeah, we've got enough redstone. Yeah, it's not enough redstone. Well, that clanging. Who's going doing what? Uh, a bit of wood. Was it planks? I think it's planks. We've got some of those over here. A bit of planks. Basic drawers. Fair enough. There we go. Some planks. Where were we? We're doing this. We're making a piston. One piston. We were making a copper gear. We've got two copper gears. We want a redstone reception coil. Make this. A pulverizer. What we want. Give me that back. Thank you. The pulverizer. I'm going to turn off all the sides for now. Because I don't really want anything happening. Uh, so we can pulverize some coal. Like this. We don't need any uh, speed upgrades because we can just speed them up like this. Two. Ooh. Sulfur. Three. Four. So this. Doing dead wood. Plus this. With a bit more speed. The induction smelter is also quite flipping slow. That's the trouble here. I have, by the way, got four hours in here, so I'm not too worried about using it to the extent that I am. And even the extent that I am, look how fast it is. It's slightly OP, if you don't mind me saying so. Right, we need four of that. <laughs> Just chew it all up. Bring it on. See if I care. What we can do is output this to here and then input this from here. There we go. So as soon as we've got enough, this will just start going. One. And this is for our laughter medicine, right? So we need one steel casing, which is going to be that. Let's go and get some osmium. The one we have left. Which is going to be this, and this, and this. We've got a steel casing. Nice. Now, we need two iron swords, two iron axes, some redstone, and a gold gear. The gold gear is going to be easy, because it's just going to be one more simple gear. And then, of course, the gold that we already have. I'm sure that didn't work before. We've got some plastic available to us. Uh, let's get some sticks, and then we can deal with this iron as well. There's no point making sticks when we've got this many. A steel casing. Obviously, that we just made. We don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. Still got our redstone. Did we need more of that? Maybe. Um, Just iron then. Would you just use all our iron? Surely not. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, what? That's not what I want. Iron nuggets. I've run out of iron. I had so much. Guess we're going to go uh, get some iron off camera. There's more steel. I mean, I don't. Don't mind turning my iron into steel because I am going to need it, but I'm a bit salty that all the iron's gone away. Uh, even though I was. I'm going to keep the iron, put the steel away. Even though I was doing my best. So I'm, uh, I guess off camera, I'm going to be making even more. Even more stuff. So you, I've sort of given you a bit of spoilers into what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be trying to make a damp null so that we can go mining without worrying about all the stuff. I'm going to be making. The the last I won't complete making our little laughter medicine off camera. I'm gonna put that down on camera so that you can all see what I'm doing and rejoice in finally getting to the point where we can have an ender farm. Not even ender farm, just a mob farm with stuff in it. Uh, we'll be extracting from that using the the ducts that we already have and another server. So there's gonna be plenty of materials involved in that, and I'm not gonna waste your time doing that on camera. I'm going to do that off camera and this is going to be a 10 minute episode whilst I prepared for that but in fact it turned out to be the full half an hour so thank you for watching. I appreciate all your time and effort and, and attention because I crave validation and until the next episode which will be soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you.